Hi, this is Jeff, and this is the article of faith number three, um, where I'm looking at the, uh, the articles of religion and the confession of faith from our book of discipline. And this one is on the resurrection of Christ. And the first one is actually from the article of religion number three, and it reads, Christ did truly rise again from the dead and took again his body with all things appertaining to the perfection of man's nature, wherewith he ascended into heaven, and there sitteth until he returned to judge all men at the last day. And what stuck out to me when I was uh, thinking about it this week was, first, truly, he did rise again with his own body. Um, there's no doubt, uh, there should be no doubt that it was an actual resurrection um, and that it was his, his own body. It wasn't a spirit body. It was uh, his own body, although it was a perfected body. And I don't know if that applies also to us. Um, and when we uh, eventually die and receive a new body, I would think that it would um, because it's appertaining to the perfection of man's nature. So I, it gives you a little bit of an idea of what our body will be like um, when we, after we pass and go to heaven. So um, the other thing that stood out is that he, um, this is really all that is said about the end times. You know, there's a lot of speculation about, you know, how things will happen, you know, and then are you a millennialist or a pre-trib rapture or all those kinds of things or post-trib, um, but this is about it, you know, Jesus ascended and he's staying there until it's time to return and to judge, and that'll be on the last day, so... Don't go into a whole lot of, of uh, details here. Uh, John Wesley certainly penned his own thoughts on on the end times, but uh, this is all uh, that is there. Jesus is going to be in heaven, and there will be a return um, a, a, and a judgment, and there will be a last day. There will be a day when um, we won't have to uh, go to work the next day. You know, there will be a day when uh, there will be a dividing line where there will be a judgment. So, and that's what's in this article of faith. Uh, not real comfortable thoughts. I mean, again, it's just a, a part of a phrase, but it does return. The, it does bring to mind that there will be a return, a last day, and a judgment. Um the next one is from the second half of the second confession of faith. And it says, He was buried, rose again from the dead, and ascended into heaven to be with the Father, from whence he shall return. He is eternal Savior and mediator who intercedes for us, and by him all men will be judged. Um, what stuck out for me in this one was to be with the Father is why he ascended into heaven. So, um, you think of God as being omnipresent, and yet uh, God appears to localize his presence, or the, uh, the base of his presence. It says that, you know, heaven is his throne and the earth is his, his footstool. So, God at least has a base, and you can feel closer to God in heaven, closer to the Father in heaven. Um, and then Jesus, who does actually have a body, which we saw from the, the, the last one, is in heaven where uh, the Father's based. And the other thing that stood out for me is that what is Jesus doing? He's not just sit a thing, as, as the article of religion said. He is our savior and mediator while he's in heaven and he's interceding for us um and i'm guessing he's interceding for all of us um 
saved and unsaved. He's the savior and mediator for all of us. Or, but then again, there's a time, and it'll be on the last day, where again the judgment is uh, spelled out, and it's a weird relationship, kind of where um, normally you think, well, you. you you're the savior, uh, savior slash mediator, or you're the judge, because who are you trying to ju save people from? Who are you trying to mediate uh, with? Um, so it's that is one of those odd, odd roles that uh, Jesus will one day go from being totally for us and then being judge. And that is a little bit difficult to take in, that how could you be an impartial judge if you were the savior and mediator? Uh, and maybe, it, and it doesn't say he's an impartial judge. Um, he is interceding for us. Does that carry over into the judgment? Um, anyway, it's just interesting that um, I don't think you see this in very many other places where your savior mediator eventually becomes your judge so all right that concludes and thank you very much for watching